Hello everybody and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to show you what we do during lockdown at home. Yes, the children are at home. Sophie's not going to nursery today because it's Sunday, but we are still doing a little bit of activities, even if it's Sunday. We play, but we also read some books and color. So what I was going to talk about today is activities that we do during lockdown because we have to stay indoors. We have to stay in the house. We have to do a lot of things with the children so they don't get bored. And we also have some classes like um, Sophie's ballet class, which now have been transferred to online classes, which they need to do from home. So one of the activities that we do at least once a week is ballet classes online. And I will um, put a video as well from um, Sophie's activity at home while she's doing ballet. We like to color and we mostly try and play because we are at the age where her little brother likes to get involved in playing as well. We play together as much as we can. That involves me, daddy and Sophie and her little brother. We love to, to play anything that involves slides. Apparently this is something children love very much. And we do have a slide with cars, which we love so much. And Sophie loves to play with it. Let's see it. Okay. And we have cars for Sophie and Mati to play as well. Now, because Mati is at the age where he's actually learning to uh, walk, to get up and walk, we also help him by giving him this little table, which has a lot of activities, and also encourages him to get up and play. Hello. Hello. Yeah. And he likes to get up and... Um, and push this table around and walk. Yes? Yeah. Okay. He loves that Santa book. Mm. What about this one? Do you like this one? This one actually is for babies and it actually has a mirror here. Do you like looking at yourself in the mirror? You love it, don't you? Mm. <laughs>
found, okay? Once there was a boy and one day he found a penguin at his door. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought it must be lost. Mm. Oh. Okay. So the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like that. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. The next morning, he discovered that penguins come from the... The land. The South Pole. The South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbor and asked a big yeah. ship to take them to the South Pole. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. Mm -hmm. So together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. They packed everything they would need. And together they pushed the rowboat out to sea. They rowed south. They rowed south for many days and nights with the boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything the boy said. Hmm. They floated through good weather and bad, when the waves were as big as mountains, until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly, it looked sad again, as the boy helped it out of the boat. Look, they arrived at the South Pole. Look, it says, welcome to the South Pole. Oh. The boy said goodbye and floated away. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It felt strange to be on his own. And the more he thought, the more he realized he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost. He was just lonely. Quickly, he turned the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. At last, he reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but there was no penguin to be found. Sadly, the boy set off home. There was no point telling stories because no one was there to listen, except the wind and the waves. But then the boy saw something in the water ahead of him. Closer and closer he got until he could see... Where was the penguin? Where was the penguin? He could see the... The boy. The penguin. The, the pen boy saw the penguin. Yeah. Yay, and they hugged, and they were so happy. And so the boy and his That's friend... The boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things all the way. And what did they see? What did they see? Uh, whales. How many? One, two, three, four. Four, four whales. Yay. And where is this one? Look, you have this one. Find the colors. Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay. Let's find the red one. Where is it? Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Good job. Like the orange one. You have to grab it only with the. Okay. Only with only using the tweezers. Okay. You shouldn't grab it with your hand. So just using the tool. Only that one. So no hand. 
Okay, that's the game. You have to use it, use no hand. Yellow, good job. Where's the yellow one? There. Very good. Very good. This one? Yes. Blue. Blue. Green. Yes. And the last one? Purple. Purple. Very good. <laughs> Purple. Good job. Excellent work. What are you doing over there? <laughs>
So this will be all from us today, from our, our vlog regarding lockdown and what our activities are. I would like to thank you very much for watching and I hope to see comments of your suggestions of what you would like to see next time from us. Thank you. Bye-bye. What color are we going to make this dress? The dress. This one? Or this one? Which one do you want to make? Okay, and what color are you making it? Um, orange. Orange, very good. Very, very good. Good boy.